Legends, Top 10 Scary Urban Legends, and today we are back with another country. We know you guys have been loving our country, so we're back with another one. I'm your host, Andrew. And I'm Michaela, and today we are talking about the top 10 most haunted places in Cambodia. At a number 10 spot, we have the Chong Ek Genocidal Center. As the name suggests, this was a pure massacre and a horrible tragedy in Cambodia's long, rich history. In the area around this genocidal center, approximately 17,000 people lost their lives and were buried, many of whom were bound and blindfolded. For obvious reasons, these were known as the execution fields of Chong Ek. This is all but a reminder of some of the atrocities committed by the Khmer Rouge regime who were known for their forced labor camps and malnourished citizens. Now back to the Chong Ek Genocidal Center. This is where the regime would take their prisoners to be executed and now serves as a memorial for this mass grave. This center even features a Buddhist stupa filled with different human skulls retrieved from the field, ranging from the elderly to some babies. Now many feel uncomfortable walking these grounds and sense the presence of those who are suffering there. Many others claim to see the apparition of Pol Pot, who is the leader of this devastating regime. But regardless, knowledge is power and hopefully this educates us to never go down this route again. Number 9. Haunted House on National Road According to some, this is the most haunted place in Cambodia. There are many stories that describe it as a very mysterious island where a lot of people have either passed away or disappeared without a trace. Now on National Road number 5, from Kampong Chang Province to Prasat Province in Cambodia, just 5 minutes driving from Stung Bribo Bridge, on the right hand side, there's a house that most people stop by to pay their respect to a famous ghost house. There's a very large monument built because a family that didn't particularly want to live created a curse. The curse took residents in a pit they threw themselves in to take their lives. Eventually people who drove near it started to pass away. It was also said that the residents who lived nearby started to pass away around World War II. At the time it was a wooden house but now it's concrete. At number 8 spot we have Boker Hill Station. Boker Hill Station once served as a French settlement town and a hideout for the Khmer Rouge regime. Remember that terrible communist party I mentioned earlier. Through its time, many lives were claimed due to the hard labor needed to build all this infrastructure. This town even saw a war with the invasion of Vietnam. This regime used this place as one of their last strongholds, so many lives were lost defending it. Now it lies completely abandoned with only the rundown buildings to show for it. Fortunately, the place opened up for tourism, but many people report feeling sadness walking along these bloodstained grounds. Many people visit the old hotel in the town and they claim to see the apparitions in the corner of the rooms, standing there just watching them. Didn't think it was scary yet? Imagine this place at night. Boom, terrifying. Now at number seven, Tuol Slang Genocide Museum. In the 1970s, this former high school was converted into the notorious S21 prison by the Khmer regime where an estimated 20,000 prisoners were executed. Souls of the victims who were detained, starved, tortured, and executed are said to be roaming the S21 hall. Many unusual incidences have been reported there, including the guards who hear moaning and chains rattling at night. Today, the school or prison has been transformed into a museum where the ghosts of the deceased are still said to haunt the halls. Of the 20,000 prisoners that experienced the horror of S21, only approximately 6 to 12 are rumored to have survived the genocide. The museum employees even leave food out for the ghosts during their lunch breaks. They say that if they don't leave an offering, they can't enjoy their own lunches in peace due to loud noises and other ghostly activities. At a number 6 spot, we have the Independence Hotel. This hotel in Sanan Nukville, Cambodia is thought to be haunted by one of its former residents. The wealthy and the famous quickly filled the rooms of this hotel after its 1964 construction. After a few years of prosperity, the hotel closed its doors in the mid 1970s to become a base for the Khmer Rouge soldiers. We can't escape this regime, can we? Rumors claim that the hotel conducted mass killings while using the swimming pool to house prisoners. It was abandoned and allowed to deteriorate before being restored in 1982 and serving as a hangout for UNTAC troops in the early 1990s. It was then shut down in 1999 and had a significant renovation and reopened to visitors in 2000. Despite the reopening, the new paint couldn't mask the atrocities done within the hotel. Guests would report cold spots in the room, and others would report an infamous spirit of a young girl who took her own life in one of the rooms, or even the aggressive spirits of the four robbers who were reportedly shot down in the mid 90s at the hotel. Think you can do a day at this hotel? Because I can't. Halfway number five, Banana Ghost Tree. The story goes that a husband was sent abroad for business, and while away, the wife got sick and passed away. Her spirit became vengeful and started haunting the people of their village. When the husband returned, 
returned not knowing about his wife's passing, he quickly realized that the woman he found was not his wife, but her ghost when she unnaturally made her arm longer. He ran away from their house seeking help, but even after a proper burial, his deceased wife followed him to a Buddhist monk's house where he sought safety. As he was reciting prayers with closed eyes, his wife's ghost climbed one of the many banana trees near the monk's house, entered through a window, and immediately took the life of the man. A belief which many people still follow stems from this legend forbidding people from planting banana trees next to their houses, as her ghost spirit could enter through the house by climbing in on a banana leaf. If there was already a banana tree growing close by, all of the banana tree's leaves touching or near the house would usually be cut off for safety. At a number four spot, we have Kakor. Kakor is an island approximately 20 kilometers outside of the capital city of Cambodia. This place is a complete tropical paradise, but as they say, beauty is often deceiving. Turns out this island is nicknamed Murder Island, and they got this name because, you guessed it, the Khmer Rouge regime was here, and they established a prison where they would use it as an execution site. This prison was estimated to have claimed the lives of thousands of people due to physical abuse and malnourishment. This is why many residents of the island claim to see the ghosts of the former prisoners wearing their black shirts and crying out for help in the middle of the night. They even left a brutal display of the remains of those who lost their life on this island. Don't know about you, but I'm still hung up on the fact that it's called Murder Island. Shouldn't this be a no-brainer for all of you guys as well? Now at number three, Champa Pag during the broadcasting of a horrific night, a local radio programmee served as a channel for Cambodian people who would call in and share their paranormal experiences. Noah Viseth, a government official res residing in Stung Trang and a dedicated listener who tuned in on the show every Saturday and Sunday, said his life was almost taken by the ghosts while traveling along the road in front of Champa Pagoda in the Vey District. His story was this. It was 10 p.m. and I was on my way home from work. Suddenly, a bike ran into me. I avoided it and fell over, and then the bike just disappeared into thin air. This is not the first story of its kind to have been reported. Many claim that they have experienced similar incidences while traveling in the area, which is well known for being a place where hundreds of people passed from traffic accidents. At number two spot, we have the Kampong Cham Ghost House. In 2005, the movie The Haunted House was filmed in this house. Before the shooting, all the actors prayed and made a super ceremony to pay respect to the spirit inside the house. According to rumors, a young couple moved to this newly built house. They dreamed that someone offered to buy a house for $3,000 in net gold. They immediately agreed and the next morning, they woke up and they saw the gold was placed at the door of the house. But they did not move despite taking the gold. One day after waking up, they found themselves lying on the wilderness with their belongings. Since then, no one has dared to step into the house and it supposedly doesn't have a speck of dust inside of it to this day. Now coming in number one, Old Shingji Hospital. The now abandoned hospital was built in 1935 by the British colonial government as part of a military base camp in the area. It included two military buildings, blocks 24 and 37, that were part of the Kitchener Barracks, which housed the Royal Engineers of the British Army. However, the hospital's peak was short-lived with the grounds being seized by Japanese troops in 1942 and used as a holding ground for prisoners of war. During the occupation, the hospital was said to have been used as a torture facility by the Japanese secret police, based on the fact that there were rooms with thick chains hanging from the walls and blood-stained floors. Before and after its closure in 1997, visitors and hospital guards claim to have seen phantoms resembling nurses and soldiers roaming its corridors, as well as hearing unexplainable hellish shrieks. A movie was even filmed on the site and the crew reported strange occurrences with the unexplainable sounds, disembodied voices, and sightings of ghostly figures. Well, these are the top 10 most haunted places in Cambodia. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time. Peace out.